Welcome to part three of the exploded diagram uh, tutorial. So those of you who've watched one and two will know that I've done the body, I've done the legs, the arms, uh, and the, the, the chest area. So uh, I've now done this on a separate piece of paper. You could do this all on one, but I'm trying to do it like this so that it will fit on my camera. Okay, so I've lined this up, but imagine it's all on one piece of paper, okay? So, just where I've actually just photocopied this, so you'll see that gap there. Same rules apply. Same rules apply that we talked about before. The head, how big is it in, in comparison to the body? So this is the head. If the body's that size, we'll say the head is around that size. How much does it um, stick out in comparison to the body? So I've measured, I think actually, it probably, the head is about that size there. I'm gonna take this one away, we don't need it. Um, the head, actually, if you're looking at it on a, on a Lego body, it doesn't go right to the edge, it's there and there and there. So I've done three dotted lines that I can rub out. I've drawn where the head would go. And then of course the cap fits on top of the head. So we can see this. Now this cap actually uh, had a ponytail on the back. I'm not gonna bother doing that just because um, I think it's complicated enough. If you want to add something like that, you absolutely could, but just for my tutorial, I haven't. So that clicks on like so. So obviously, it needs to be around the same sort of size, doesn't it? it? Might end up the hat is slightly bigger, but it wouldn't be by much at all. So that's that. So I've drawn a box, and I've drawn another box, and I've measured, and I've said, okay, the hat isn't quite as tall as the head, so that, that's why that box is a little bit smaller. But probably I'm gonna put a bit of a curve in there. Um, so that's that. So then I will start drawing my shape out. So I know with a Lego man, the head, it has a, 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 a joining, part at the bottom, it has, this doesn't look exactly right, but you get the idea. If I'm looking straight on, and you've got that bit at the top, something like that. So I put those points there, that would be this point and this point. And I've put points here and here on my box, there, there and there, because that would be where the Lego man tapers in. So. Um, I would then draw that in. So I would say, okay, well that tapers in. We can go like that. Try and match that curve. Okay, this one probably don't need to do because, you know, if it was a curve, it would be like this, wouldn't it? It would go around like that. So that's just for frame of reference to just make sure it looks right. Okay, that would actually be a curve like that. You won't actually see it because there'll be a plug here, this top that top plug there will um, go in that space. You probably, you won't see that. All right, same applies down here. I've drawn that out already. And I've done the same with the cap. So here I've done the same and I've done my points and I've put the curve in. That's not right, but you get the idea. And I've said, okay, well, there's a bit of a peak at the top. So I've done a mark there, done a mark there, and I've put the peak in. So whatever that is, that needs to be the same on this side as well. So that's that, okay. Then obviously you could rub out your crate if you're finished with it. And then using your thick and thin line technique, you go around the outer edge like so. Okay, I would have rubbed this crate out before I do this, but you get the idea. That is exactly the same as this. I would draw my box, put my four points. I would connect it into a circle like so, and I would build it up, and then I would make sure those circles, it's the same, it's the exact same, but it's just got a hollow part, and it's very similar to the plugs at the bottom, at the top of the, uh, the leg section, the bottom of the torso. So that's that, put that circle in, I'm trying to draw this quickly now, and we do that, that's that. Okay, you rub out your dotted lines, don't need those anymore, rub out your crate. With the hat, I would say, okay, well there's, that's the hat, but actually, it's not exactly a peak. There is a peak at the front. Don't know how, how well you can see that. But actually, it, it's a little bit, bit more curved. So I'd probably keep looking at that and try and match up the curve. Your figure or whatever it is you're using will have different types of shapes. But I'm gonna say this hat, and I know this because I've already drawn it, so I'm, that's why I'm not checking it as thoroughly as I normally would. But I looked at it and I know the hat's like that. I know it has some lines come down like this, and I know it has a peak. 
at the front, like a, a, a sticking out section. So it's got that to it. If you look straight on, it's got that crescent shape. Ignore the hair at the back. We can see that crescent. So I've just tried to draw a crescent. That's the middle. There's the middle. So that'll be the highest part of the crescent. And then it dips back down again. These lines would stick out. And you would try and match that crescent here as well. Something like that. Okay, so I've drawn that already. Rub out your lines you don't need, your crating lines, and that's what we're left with. Okay, so I said before, but little dots can be your friend when it comes to trying to make sure of shape. It just give it the illusion of a, of a curve, but as I said, those who saw the salsa bottle video, this isn't, if the Lego man had a head like this, bit more like, like Minecraft perhaps. Eyes, mouth. If it had edges like that, then you would expect when you are drawing this to have an edge like that, but it hasn't, has it? It's got a, a tapered, subtle curve. So you might wanna put a bit of it in, put some dots, depending on your design or what your item is, you probably put a bit more dots like that. I'm not gonna do that. Reason being is because that might get in the way of the face the, the face graphic that I'm gonna add on. So because that specific reason that it's got this graphic on, I'm choosing not to put that on. But generally you could, but it, as, it, as I say, you're all gonna be drawing different things. So it's just a nice technique. I've done the same with the hat. If you look, I've drawn a line like that and I've done dots. Now this line probably does go all the way like that. This line, I've stopped, but there would be a curvature. And here this would probably go like that, but I'm just hinting, just putting a little line and a couple of little dots just gives you the hint of, okay, I understand there's a curve there like this. Okay, and that probably would go there, wouldn't it? The way that the hat tapers, but you might not with, with curves, you might just wanna do that, give yourself a bit of artistic license with, with that little technique. I use that all the time when I'm doing my drawings. Um, so that's that. Now. I need to think about the graphics on the front. So is, my Lego person has sunglasses. So it would roughly be on this plane here. It'd be something like that. That line was the same as the crate. Even though I've rubbed the crate out, I can remember it's the same as that. It's just as parallel, that line. We wouldn't have the glasses this way. I thought it'd be look like the glasses are coming off of his head. We don't want that and it's got, the, this Lego person has a little smiley mouth, like so, okay? And eyebrows, like that. And in fact, on the graphic, on the Lego man, or Lego woman, should I say, the lines go like that. There's almost like a shine on the, on the uh, glasses. I don't know if you can, probably that won't pick up. You can kind of see, there's like lines that kind of show almost like a reflection. And then there's a hint of, the arm of the glasses on the side there, but it only goes that far. Okay, it doesn't go very far at all. That's that. That's it drawn in. And then I've obviously rubbed out the sections I no longer need. And that's pretty much it. 